Welcome to Municipal Affairs. I'm Christopher Brown. With the release of Alberta's Bill 20 regulations and less than a year until voters head to the municipal polls in Alberta, Calgary's political landscape is heating up as a Better Calgary Party officially launches. On October 19th, a Better Calgary Party held its founding convention at the Thorncliffe Greenview Community Association, where approximately 200 Calgarians gathered to kickstart the movement. Built on values of accountability, transparency, and a return to essential city services, a Better Calgary Party aims to bring common sense back to City Hall. With its founding in place, a Better Calgary Party is preparing to hit the ground running as it heads into a pivotal election year. The newly elected president of a Better Calgary Party, Mike Lavalley, spoke with us about the party's next steps. First off, congratulations on becoming president of the Better, Cal Better Calgary Party. How does it feel to have the trust of the members who have already signed up put into you over the next few months as we head into the next municipal election? I'm getting shorter already. Uh, the, the, the weight of the pressure, um, it's, it's not lost on me. The, it's, a, it's almost an historic thing. Um, being um, nominated and elected president of the very first Calgary Municipal Party, we want to make sure that we do this right and don't let anybody down. So, yeah, I'm very concerned, but uh, confident as well that uh, we're going to meet our goals. You are the first out of the gate, as you just said, and Bill 20 regulations just came out yesterday as of recording this on Friday the 18th, if I'm doing my math correct here. Looking at the trajectory over the next year, because we're 365 days away from the next general municipal election, does your party have what it takes to potentially form the next administration? Absolutely. If we didn't believe that, we wouldn't be here do, doing what we are. So absolutely, we believe that. It's, it's a lot of hard work. Uh, our founding members of our party did hundreds and thousands of hours of work to make sure that we formed the party correctly. We did things right. Now, as we move forward and we have more, get more public awareness of why we're here and what we're about, we talk about why a political party in Calgary, then we have to take all those things we've done right and now do the right things going forward. And what are those right things? Because you have a large task ahead of you. What's priority number one for you as president? Uh, I know we're in the midst of the, finding out who the other board members are, but for you as president, what's your priority number one now? Communication. Absolutely. Um, talk to people in Calgary. Um, we realize from the public polls and the things that you read, you know, opinion columns and that sort of thing, that there is a pretty large percentage of people that aren't really convinced that political parties at the municipal level are, are the way to go. And I get that and I understand that. We want to communicate with people, explain to them why we exist, what it's about. There's some misconceptions about the party and what we're doing and how we're going to support candidates and where the policy is going to come from. So communicating those and getting the word out is my number one job. Candidate recruitment must be a top priority for you as well. I know this is still early hours for you, if not early minutes, minutes for yeah. you. <laughs> what type of candidates are you looking for as president, as a party, as the A Better Calgary Party? Are you looking for the general, person, general store manager? Are you looking for the business entrepreneur? What type of candidates are you trying to recruit? Not a specific type. But as we spoke and we had our meet and greets in different wards around the city, and we did that in, in for all the wards in Calgary before we started, um, we came up with kind of three guiding principles or guidelines of what we think would make a good candidate because we've been asked that question a lot. What do you think makes a good candidate? Well, one is that they agree with our party principles. Uh, they're on our website. They're, they're all about common sense and fiscal responsibility. We would expect that potential candidates that we would support would agree to that, and that they have shown evidence of that in the past. And we would, and you know, kind of pledge that that's what they want to do going forward as well. Um, the second is that they have um, professional experience at representing themselves, and they, you know, have been successful in leadership roles before and can, because they're not only going to represent themselves, they're representing the people in their ward, the party, the city of Calgary at times. We want to make sure that we have good professional people with experience in, in, in that line moving forward.
Are you passionate about local governance and municipal issues? Do you believe in the power of community-driven conversations? Then join us at the Cross Border Network, where we bring together voices from across Canada to shine a spotlight on the challenges and the triumphs of our municipalities. But we need your support to keep the conversation going. Visit crossborderinterviews.ca today to show your support by backing the show monthly or making a one-time annual donation. Your contribution will help us grow and expand our reach, bringing important stories to even more listeners across the nation. Together, we can make a difference. Together, we can amplify the voices of local communities. Together, we can shape a brighter future for all. Cross Border Network, where local matters and your support counts. Visit us today at crossborderinterviews.ca. Going to the principles um, that they've read, understand, agree, have a you know, history demonstrated that they agree with the principles in the past. Um, professional representation, that, you know, they're not somebody that's going to bring down the people of Calgary with poor representation. And that, and that they've been successful before. Um, I guess that's the banker in me coming out. History tends to be the best predictor of the future. And the people with a history of success in their chosen field or the career tend to exhibit the most success going forward as well. So those are some of the general guidelines that we think would make a good councillor candidate. As I said, we have three, just over a year until the next municipal elections as of uh, this founding convention and you becoming president. Candidate selection is going to be a top priority because we are you're going to have to try to introduce them to the electorate because even the most independent candidate is has a hard time challenging an incumbent. When do you hope to have your field of candidates selected or are you even thinking about that right now and you're looking at policies first? That's going to be more like late winter, early spring. Um, and that's interesting, your comment about policy, and that's one of the things that's a little different about our party is that policy is not going to be driven from the board of directors down towards the candidates. We recognize that the candidates in the wards, every ward has its own concerns and its own challenges, and we want the candidates to best represent the people in their ward. So we are going to, as long as they're kind of following through on our general guidelines, we're going to support the candidates who actually come up with a policy. The candidates are going to create the best policies for their election platforms right at the candidate level. So that's, it's a little bit different than what people are used to in either provincial or federal politics. Now I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask the million dollar question here, Mike. <laughs> Will we see Mike Lavallee's name on the ballot in 2025 or as president are you going to be looking at the more organizational side of the party? You won't see my name on the ballot in 2025. Have you seen my name on the ballot before? It happened in 2021. Um, my efforts at this point are best served with the party and as president of the party it, it would it'd be a conflict for me to run for a position on council. So no, you will not see my name for council. You need a thousand uh, residents uh, of Calgary to sign a petition to allow your party to be on the ballot according to Bill 20's regulations. Uh, do you, I'm looking around, you have a few hundred people here today. I'm not sure if this is the max that you had or if you had more people throughout the day, but do you think you can get those thousand people to sign up? And where specifically are you looking to get those members? Is it across the uh, city or is there certain areas that you're looking at? There's no certain areas and we have no hesitancy whatsoever that we will reach the threshold required by the new regulations that were just came out on Friday. Don't anticipate that being a problem at all. My final question is, what's your message to Calgarians today? Because they might be looking at who the next mayor is going to be, who their next city councillor is going to be. Why should they take a look at, the, a, at a better Calgary party? Um, give it a chance. Um, talk to us, talk to any of our members, talk to any of our um, ward association presidents and just learn more about a better Calgary party and why we're here and how we're different um, than either provincial or federal parties and take a look. Uh, I think if you go through our principles it'll be something that appeals to a lot of common sense minded people. And where can they find those principles and more information about their ward presidents or ward directors? Right on the website at A Better Calgary.
Thank you so much for tuning in for another episode of Municipal Affairs. Now, we truly hope you've enjoyed today's conversation. Be sure to hit that subscribe button because today is our official launch of our Calgary Votes 25 series. Over the next few months, heading up until the October 2025 municipal elections, we are going to be sitting down with as many candidates for mayor and councillor as possible. So you will not want to miss those upcoming episodes. Also, we'll be sitting down with as many political party candidates as possible as well. So be sure to stay informed, stay connected, and we'll see you next time right here on Municipal Affairs. Until then, everyone.